treatment was unsuccessful. Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Doom. I believe we're on part eight. And uh, we're still trying to unlock some uh, security things. Ooh, I was assuming he was gonna try to jump me there. Is there another guy in there? Huh, thought I saw an arm. You know what? You think there'd be like a health station in there? Uh oh. I see. I want to say, what does it sound like? That sound like a little tentacle monster guy. Oh, we gotta do something with these numbers. Is there any PDAs that can help us? No. Uh, there's a big old mask in number seven, though. Kinda interested in it. I just wanna see what it is. More monsters. I took care of it. I was say, what's it doing? And I guess we can come over here and open it. Hmm. Nope, we can't really do anything with it. But all right, so we're gonna keep on looking here. I don't think there's really anything we need. There's gotta be something important there, so let's do... I mean, eight's gone, let's do nine. Oh, we gotta relocate it. Okay, so what is it? Seven, so it definitely goes to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not the issue. Yeah, the door does not open. Look. Okay, nine does not look like it's the important one here. Doesn't look like there's anything in four. Yeah, nothing in four. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's pick three, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna land on top of three. We're gonna drop down and we're gonna go in there. I think that's what we gotta do. I have thought it through. Because I don't think there's anything important in any of those boxes for us, so. Hopefully, yep, I think we're gonna be okay. And I'll say the only thing we really gotta worry about is, uh, like, what was the whole point of doing all that? Oh, that killed us, son of a bitch. But I think that's that's what we're supposed to do. I think. The UAC docked by Tom. All right, well, let's kill everyone all over again. We'll just get off before it fully, you know, goes in there. Yep, everyone and their mom's coming. I'm assuming they're gonna be coming through the doors too? They should. Yeah, the first chance we get that where we think that we can make that ledge jump, we're taking it. 
pretty much. And I think they're coming out. Yeah. Okay. We'll just uh, let them do what they want. Okay. BFG cells. Oh. That, that's something I like to hear. Oh man, we took both of those health. So low. Two of them now. Oh, BFG. Wait, that's Chief M. Abrams. Do we have anything about M. Abrams in here? gonna one way or the other we're getting that gun and I'm assuming it's gonna be somewhere in here Hang on systems deactivated there's a man there's so much shit here oh here we go all right here we go the the them is locker 116 locker code was set 972 okay there was something there among the FG cells let's look for okay, there's a lot of dead bodies around I really want that BFG though I think we unlocked everything we needed unlocked. Okay, before that, I'm assuming we still can't open this door because this guy. Yeah, nobody, you wouldn't want nobody touching that baby. Now, if I feel like we're going a little bit too far, I might kind of stop and see what we need to do. Ooh, he's scary. Goddamn jump scares. Get out of here with that. Somehow, my last bullet took him out. Okay, and I'm going to play it safe. What I mean by that is I'm actually going to go through Medical report 16-8, dated November 2nd, 2145. Patient okay. 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired yesterday at 1543. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested it's only November. mild psychosis with speech, motor activity, and thought processes within normal range. Paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A, Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 26. Okay, so it's not in that. So, I'm assuming... I don't think I have it, you know. But let me look. Yeah. I don't think any of these guys would have it. So, I'm thinking it may be one of the rooms in the other security area. And then we'll just walk back. Yep, because I definitely hear him. I'm pretty sure we can't go this way. Yep. Alright, let's take care of our buddies. Okay, we got Phil Wilson here. I 
know there's more of them, but let me see if we can get Phil Wilson going here. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, the Delta Labs, October 20th, 20th March. Today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood, real fire and brimstone stuff. At first I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel as tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. I would too, man. I would have gotten off Mars. Frank Cinder. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinder, dated October 15th, 2145. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for wear. I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh, flames and heat and the stench of the place. It, it smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division, to start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. I feel I must admit on a personal note that I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off. So he actually got there successfully, and that's probably what caused him to be like, you know what, I think we can do it. And probably the head honcho guy, scientist went, he got a little bit insane, and he's trying to uh, bring hell to Earth. And I've just been here trying to get that BFG gun. Oh, you bastard. That's what I've been trying to do. Like, there's like pistol ammo everywhere. Like, who's gonna use a pistol around here? Okay, I think this is 538. No. Maybe it was a different number. Hold on, let me check. Just to make sure. Oh, number 112. Well, 112 is probably the one that's open. Never mind. We need that. Now I'm trying to think, where's 114? Like, he was the closest, so maybe there's a PDA somewhere hidden in here? I don't see one. But I mean, I, it's probably not that important. Solve that, I guess. That takes us downstairs? This is a quicker... Instead of having to walk all the way back. Oh, okay. Oh, like, where did y'all come from? <laughs> not happy though you know I still remember about the uh, BFG I'm a little worried decontamination process started 
Take oh, yeah. the full ammo. Complete. We're taking Have this. A nice day. All right, go back. I say, aren't we supposed to put something in here or something? I guess not. Hold on, let me check my PDA. Retrieve the plasma inducer. Um, power up the teleporter. At least we got some ammo there. Say, I don't think it's in here. Maybe it's in the room. Decontamination process started. Man, every time I come in here, I gotta wait like you know, 10, 15 seconds. And Decontamination just... complete. Makes me go insane. Have a nice day. Oh, right here. Duh. Excellent. Now we'll get the teleporter working again. But you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Uh, those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get the sequence so this never happens again. Okay, so we actually got a video disc that might be important. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images it sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. But Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I... I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. It seemed he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in, about one second to the nightmarish experiences, sightings of things that made us The other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell. And the creatures we were bringing back. Demons. And then the true brain. He went through the portal himself. I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he just went. And we couldn't stop him. Changed. He sounded, looked the same, but he just, I don't know, he was, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the soul cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail, and, and then, living hell erupted. 
erupted into the base. We were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry. Alrighty, so now we kind of know what went down and, you know, typical, scientists went into the teleporter and it was not the same when he came back out. Now let's just uh, go clean up the mess. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. I guess we just hit this button. Systems activated. Teleportation with the lens for T minus three, two, one. Like, why are we going? I guess we're gonna go fuck up shit in hell. say what so we didn't go we just kind of moved over okay so we need a car oh, there's some other guys I've been asking about there's some armor in there but I don't think it's worth it Maybe we'll get the BFG now. Oh, tentacle man. Machine gun, minigun man too. Oh my god. I was say he's about to kill me. Okay, we unlocked the storage area. There's nothing in it, but there is a health station here, which is something I appreciate. Damn, tentacle guys snuck up on us. Alright, let me check back here. No, it didn't spawn behind me. PDA by Francis Erickson. No audio files, but he's probably got the security code. He does 259. Alrighty. Kind of got his back on track. Get rid of him. Almost got away from it. There's the tentacle guy. I'm assuming there's one over here too. That might have been the guy behind. No, just a regular guy. Anything of importance? Nope. I guess he dropped him. Okay, we got Tentacle Man and the Minigun Guy. They'll probably come over here. I know the Minigun Guys are coming. It's just a matter of time. So many of them. Oh, I 
have to reload. So does anybody else kind of want to respawn in here? I'll say we really can't go that way, but we can't go in there. Lift access, they uh, open the door for me, I guess. I don't know what happened to the minigun guy, but... I'll take a win when I can get one. And I'm hoping this is kind of like a alternative route where we can just turn around and go back. Oh, what is that? Is he a spawner? I'm assuming he spawns the guy's in. Got an itch on my nose. Alright, I still want that BFG. Oh, something's going on down here. The hell? Ah! You surprised me. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness, a way to stop them. I found nothing so far. Haven't had enough time. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking. It's the only thing I can do. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is 624. I hope you can use it. All right, six two four. He blocked the hallway. Let's, let's get both of them before I forget. BFG cells. Mm, still disappointed. I don't got it yet. door is locked. I'm guessing we have to actually go through there. I mean, you know, whatever is safe for me. Launcher. Uh -oh. He tried it. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility uh -oh. was constructed to house and study the extra dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities. Mm -hmm. And sad part is this is probably issues that will happen. 
I mean, I doubt we're gonna find hell, but like in the future here, there's no telling how many people lost their lives because, you know, people were pushing for things. And of course, all these guys are probably gonna get out. Like, what the hell is that? I haven't even seen that thing. Or at least I don't know. I don't know what it is in the. this guy is he down here I mean I'll save him if I can oh he just died I think he just died he had a PDA Jacob Stimmons Let's see what he had to say No audio files. But he's got a storage locker. 371. Power issues. Uh, I feel sorry for the guy. I'm glad we went though, we got some good ammo. Yeah. Kinda raised up our low number of cells. Yeah. <laughs> I already forgot the Alrighty. Unless is anything gonna happen with this guy just going. You know, it's kind of like a lie. Of course. Of course it would uh, throw us down here. Oh, let me reload. Man, it does get dark though. Ooh. Almost got me there. Oh, but we did get this big pretty much filled back up. There he is. I'm not saying nothing down here, really. He doesn't see me. No, he does. He just can't uh, kneel down. Thank God he's you know eight foot. Okay, nothing here. We'll re reload here. This is that security supply thing that I forgot the numbers to. Which is 371. Okay. okay. So they're clearing them out. Cleaning them. Make sure there's no contamination. Yeah, we're gonna keep on going, I guess. And I, I can bet you he's probably alive in there. Yeah, I assume. Oh, that's where he uh, goes. Oh, I don't see him. I mean, I don't know why I did that, but... Good enough. We got another video disc. We can take that up. Another Welcome room? to the Delta Complex Stasis Chamber. We just kind of went into a circle. Before we go, let's look at this uh, video disc. 
Welcome to the Delta Complex. Welcome to the oh, Delta okay. Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility was constructed to house oh. and study the. Ex That's exactly what we listened to when we first came in. Pretty much. Oh, trash can. That was a piece of armor. Pick those up. What you see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul Q. It was discovered in 2104, located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. We know nothing of this cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by Yuan's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine Yuan have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning you one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technologies that make up you one And it is a weapon. Okay, hold on. I think he has something to say to you. This is the audio log of research director Larry Bowman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling it the soul cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of I have the soul cube uh, power fluctuation can stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU it. online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, what I'll you take this opportunity to lodge yet another company. complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this oh, god right here. base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. What I've deciphered so far is that I must say the story it seems that when one has possession of the artifact, one in power from that event somehow. Once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I have only deciphered about mm, two thirds, given the but my initial. <laughs> I suspect that just like the civilization and construction of its capability of only as a and a lock. Okay, so we need the storage code for that to so unlock it. Might be in here. And access three. Elizabeth McNeil. Let's see what she's got to say. None. Okay, so she was an investigation report. Storage room has been changed. 725, and that's the real door that we need is 463. So, 725, 463. This one, that's the problem. I've, I've seen a couple of Martian buddies, so I doubt it's her. Oh, three, yeah. Okay, there's Martian buddy.
Yeah, I don't think we had the information before. Sometime we'll probably get the codes or something. Oh, I forgot this one though, to be honest. 463? There we go. And an elephant. Oh, this guy. Let's just kill him real quick. Let's see, I think he spawns guys. And then we're leaving Delta Labs. And we're actually probably going to stop here, to be honest, if nobody's outside the door here. Nope. So uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and then next one we're going to keep on going here.